In the cosmic dance of souls, there exists a connection that transcends the mundane, the twin flame. This ethereal connection is akin to a cosmic puzzle where the pieces of two souls fit together seamlessly, bound across realms of time and space. They are mirror images of each other, reflecting and amplifying their shared energy. Imagine two souls, two separate entities, yet bound by an invisible thread a thread that transcends the physical, the geographical. It transcends even the dimension of time. They're bound in a way that's difficult to comprehend, communicating in a language that's beyond human understanding, in ways unfathomable to the ordinary mind. The connection is not of this world. It hums with a frequency only they can hear. But then a question arises. How does one know when their twin flame is trying to make contact? How can one decipher this ethereal language, cue the nine signs, signs that serve as guiding lights, illuminating the path of this cosmic dance, whispering secrets that only the connected can decipher? The first sign is an unexplained sadness, an emotional SOS from your twin flame, a sudden wave of melancholy that washes over you, leaving you bewildered. This is not your emotion, but a reflection of your twin flame's emotional state. Next, it's hearing your name being called when nobody else is around. It might be a soft whisper playing on the edges of your hearing or a loud call resonating in your mind. That's your twin flame's voice reaching out, attempting to bridge the gap that divides you physically. Vivid dreams about your twin flame follow. These dreams seem more real than reality itself, painted in vibrant hues of emotion. These dreams are gateways, allowing your twin flame to connect on a deeper subconscious level. Further, one might experience strange physical symptoms mirroring their state, a tangible echo of your twin flame's experiences. These echoes serve as reminders of the physical connection you share, even if you are miles apart. Last but not least, pay attention to increased synchronicities. These are not mere coincidences, but cosmic messages guiding you towards a deeper understanding of your connection. They are the universe's way of leading you, of showing you the path you need to take. This beautiful cosmic dance is more than just the law of attraction. It's a spiritual call and response, a celestial dialogue between two souls intertwined, echoing across the universe. So next time you experience these signs, know it's your twin flame crying out for your help. And remember, in helping them, you're also helping yourself grow spiritually. You're nourishing your soul. You're stepping onto the path of spiritual enlightenment. The dance of twin flames is a journey of love, growth, and understanding. It's not just about finding your twin flame, but also about becoming a beacon of light for them when they need you the most. Before we proceed, let's take a moment to dive into the profound concept of twin flames. This isn't just a typical relationship that our society often defines. It represents a profound spiritual connection between two souls separated at the dawn of existence, journeying across numerous lifetimes, desperately yearning for reunion. It's a bond that exists beyond the physical realm, surpassing the confines of time, linking two individuals on a deeply spiritual level. The twin flame connection is based on the principles of unconditional love, spiritual advancement, and mutual comprehension. It is a ballet of souls, a cosmic dance orchestrated meticulously by the universe itself. This spiritual dance is about two halves of the same soul coming together and separating over and over again in different lives and different forms. The flame represents the heat, the force and the transformative power of this bond, burning away all impurities and illuminating the path of the spiritual journey. However, this ethereal connection isn't without its challenges. Twin flames often encounter a multitude of hurdles and trials designed to spur their personal growth and spiritual evolution. These trials, though difficult, serve a purpose. They act as catalysts, forces that speed up and intensify the spiritual growth process. Through these trials, the twin flame connection deepens, the souls venture closer to reunion, and the individuals involved evolve at a rapid pace. Understanding this connection becomes paramount in recognizing the signs when your twin flame is in distress and reaches out for your help. It's not just about deciphering the signals they send, but also about comprehending the profound spiritual bond that prompts these signals. A twin flame relationship is an ongoing conversation, an exchange of energy and ideas that strengthens the bond and furthers the spiritual journey of both individuals. Remember, when you respond to your twin flame's call, you're not just aiding them. 
You're also assisting in your own spiritual evolution, helping yourself grow, learn and ascend. Responding to their call isn't just an act of compassion, it's an act of self-improvement, an act of spiritual development. The essence of the twin flame connection is an ethereal dance of souls, a journey filled with love and spiritual growth, a cosmic call and response that reverberates throughout the universe. It's a divine connection, a spiritual bond that pushes you to grow, evolve and ascend. It's a journey of self-discovery, of spiritual evolution and of unconditional love. This is the essence of the twin flame connection, a dance of souls, a journey of love and spiritual growth, a cosmic call and response that echoes through the universe. Having delved deep into the twin flame connection, we are now going to shift our focus to understanding the signals when your twin flame is crying out for your help. These signals are not just mere messages. They are echoes from your shared soul, seeking your attention and help. They can manifest in a number of ways, vivid dreams, strong intuition, synchronicities, or even physical sensations. Dreams, for instance, are not just fleeting figments of our unconscious mind. They can also be a powerful medium for twin flames to communicate. If you have recurring dreams about your twin flame, it might not be a mere coincidence. These dreams could be a call from your twin flame, a sign that they are reaching out to you on a spiritual level, seeking your guidance or help. They could be in a situation where they feel stuck and your soul in its infinite wisdom and connection is trying to help them out. Similarly, intuition, that gut feeling or instinct can be a way that your twin flame is trying to communicate with you. It can be a sense of unease, a sudden insight or an inexplicable pull towards a decision. This intuitive pull could be a sign that your twin flame is seeking your guidance or help. Synchronicities too, those seemingly unconnected events that seem to keep happening in a pattern, could be signs that your twin flame is trying to get your attention. They may be triggers prodding you to reach out to your twin flame or to look deeper into your own spiritual journey. Physical sensations, though less common, can also be a way your twin flame communicates with you. It can be a sudden pain or sensation, a sense of unease in the body, or even a sudden surge of energy. Your physical body, being part of your spiritual self, could be reacting to the energies of your twin flame, signaling that they need your help or guidance. However, the art of interpreting these signals is not an easy task. Given the profound spiritual connection between twin flames, these signals often carry deeper meanings, messages that the universe is trying to relay. They are not just random events. These signals are threads in the cosmic tapestry that is woven between you and your twin flame. Each signal, each echo, is a testament to the eternal dance of your souls, a part of the divine play of the universe. They are not just cries for help, they are also reminders of your spiritual bond, nudges towards your own spiritual growth. So the next time you receive a signal, don't just respond. Take a moment to appreciate the profound spiritual bond that prompted it. After all, understanding the signals is not just about helping your twin flame, but also about deepening your own spiritual journey. Moving forward, let's delve deeper into the art of decoding the messages from your twin flame. As we previously discussed, these messages can often appear confusing and enigmatic, hidden beneath a complex structure of spiritual symbolism, metaphors, and often riddles. But there's no need to worry or feel overwhelmed. With a little bit of patience, intuition, and a willingness to go on this spiritual journey, you can decipher the meanings behind these intricate messages. The decoding journey begins with your emotional responses. Our feelings are often a direct response to the energy that our twin flame is emitting. They act as a mirror reflecting the emotions and energies your twin flame might be experiencing. So if you're feeling unusually anxious or restless, or if your excitement is inexplicably heightened, these could potentially be signs that your twin flame is undergoing similar emotional fluctuations. When trying to decode these messages, it's important to trust your gut instinct in these situations. Our intuition is more powerful than we often give it credit for. It can lead us to an understandings that our conscious mind may miss. So always listen to that inner voice, that gut feeling that nudges you towards a particular interpretation. Next, consider the context of the signals you're receiving. Are you going through any significant life changes? Have you been feeling distant or disconnected from your twin flame? 
The answers to these questions can provide valuable insights into Twin Flame's current state and what they might be going through. They can also help you understand the urgency or the intensity of the messages you're receiving. Another pivotal point to take into consideration is the dream state. Dreams are a common medium for twin flame communication. If you've been having recurring dreams about your twin flame, it's crucial to try and recall as many details as you can possibly remember. These details, no matter how insignificant, tiny or trivial they seem, could potentially hold the key to unlocking the message your twin flame is trying to convey. Finally, don't hesitate to seek external guidance. You can consult spiritual guides, twin flame experts, or even delve into literature on the subject. There's a wealth of knowledge out there ready to assist you on this journey. Remember, decoding these messages is a journey in itself, not a destination. It's an adventure, a spiritual exploration that requires patience, openness, and a steadfast trust in the process. In the next scene, we'll explore how you can respond to these messages effectively, ensuring that you not only offer assistance to your twin flame, but also nurture and strengthen your spiritual bond. In this scene, we'll focus on how to read and respond to the signals and messages emanating from your twin flame. You've become adept at decoding their cryptic cry for help, but the real question lies in the response. How do you initiate contact? How do you reassure them that even though miles may separate you, your spirits are connected? To effectively answer their call, the initial step requires you to acknowledge their message. Recognizing their plea for help is the first stride towards providing them much needed support. This vital process of acknowledgement can take place through various spiritual practices. It may be through the calming art of meditation or through the humble act of prayer. Express your heartfelt gratitude for having such a unique spiritual connection and for the communicative bond you both share. After acknowledging their plea, the next step involves sending out positive energy charged with love towards your twin flame. Envision them in a safe and fortified haven, bathed in radiant light and encased within the warm embrace of love. This act of visualization not only consoles them, but it also fortifies your spiritual bond, strengthening that celestial connection that ties both together. But while you're engaged in this process, it's paramount to respect their individual journey and their free will. They have their own path to traverse, their unique lessons to learn. As much as you might want to jump in and solve their problems, you must restrain yourself. Offer support, lend an ear, but remember that they must confront their challenges. Instead of trying to fix their issues, provide reassurance. Offer your unwavering love and unwaning support, reminding them constantly that they're never alone in this journey. If circumstances permit direct interactions with your twin flame, always be open and candid about your feelings. Share your own experiences, your fears and your hopes. Reassure them that just as they are there for you, you're also there for them, standing by their side, providing support and comfort. However, it is essential to remember that the twin flame journey is not solely about mutual support. It's equally, if not more, about individual growth, personal development and spiritual evolution. While lending assistance to your twin flame, do not neglect your own needs. Remember to pause and take care of yourself. The journey is long and arduous and self-care is crucial. In the next scene, we'll wrap up this spiritual journey with some final thoughts and reflections, bringing to a close this chapter of your twin flame journey. We will be leaving you with some parting wisdom to better navigate the path ahead and to further foster this divine connection. In this segment, we're going to delve into the importance of nurturing not only your spiritual connection with your twin flame, but also your individual growth. Let's first shed some light on the concept of twin flames. It's believed that a twin flame is essentially your other half, the person who mirrors you, who can make you feel an overwhelming connection. This bond is more than just a physical or even emotional connection. It's a highly spiritual one, a soul connection of sorts. But while this connection can feel incredibly strong and intense, it's crucial to remember that it's not just about your twin flame. It's about you too. Your twin flame is there to reflect back to you what you need to work on within yourself. They can help bring to the surface the things you need to heal or transform. They can act as a mirror, reflecting back your deepest fears, insecurities, and hidden desires. 
That being said, bear in mind that your twin flame also has their own journey. They have their own lessons they need to learn, their own experiences they need to go through. They are not there to save you or fix you, just as you are not there to save or fix them. It's crucial to remember this and respect their journey, just as you would want them to respect yours. The connection you share with your twin flame is beautiful and it is sacred. It's a profound spiritual bond that is unlike any other. But like any other relationship, it requires nurturing. Imagine your twin flame surrounded by love and light. Feel that love and light encompassing them, protecting them, guiding them on their journey. But remember to also respect their free will. You can't force them to change or grow. They have to choose it for themselves. At the same time, don't forget about your own spiritual growth. The with your twin flame is not simply about them. It's also about your personal evolution, your own spiritual growth. As you provide support for your twin flame, remember to also take care of your own needs. Practice self-love and self-care. Spend time in meditation or prayer, focusing on your connection, but also on your own personal growth and evolution. The twin flame journey is about mutual growth and evolution. It's about two souls coming together to help each other grow, learn, and evolve. This journey is not just about finding your twin flame, it's also about finding yourself. So while you cherish and nurture your sacred bond, also remember to nourish your own soul. In the upcoming scene, we will conclude this enlightening journey with some final reflections and thoughts. Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey so far. Understanding and responding to your twin flame's cry for help is a profound and deeply spiritual experience. It's an odyssey full of mystic encounters, personal development and boundless love. It's a voyage that demands strength and vulnerability, courage and surrender, intense effort and profound relaxation. It's a journey that begins deep within your soul where your twin flame resides. This entity, this mirror image of your most authentic self reflects back at you your deepest fears and yearnings, your highest potentials and your most profound truths. It's an experience that is at once inspiring and daunting, full of potential for growth and transformation. When embarking upon this journey, it's essential to remember the importance of self-care. Caring for your physical, emotional and spiritual well-being is vital to navigating the intense emotions and spiritual growth that often accompany this journey. It's about more than just taking care of your body. It's about nourishing your soul too. It's about making space for rest and rejuvenation, for solitude and connection, for joy and sorrow, for struggle and ease. Remember, your twin flame is a mirror that reflects not only your deepest fears and desires, but also your immense potentials. Engage this mirror, learn from it, grow with it. Your interaction with your twin flame can be a powerful catalyst for personal growth and transformation. It can open doors to deeper understanding, compassion, and love. It can inspire you to reach new heights, to push beyond your perceived limitations, and to become the best version of yourself. Along this journey, it's vital to remember to be kind to yourself. Navigating the path of spiritual growth requires patience and compassion for oneself. It's about understanding that growth often involves discomfort and that setbacks can be opportunities for learning and growth. It's about recognizing that you are a work in progress and that's okay. Your relationship with your twin flame is a potent reminder of this truth. It's a reminder that every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Every setback, a chance to learn. Every triumph, a confirmation of your inherent strength and resilience. It's a reminder that you are not alone on this journey, that your twin flame reflects back at you the truth of who you are and the potential of who you can become. As we conclude this scene, we hope that we've provided you some valuable insights and tools to help you navigate your twin flame journey. In the next scene, we'll conclude with some final thoughts and reflections to help you on your ongoing journey. As we come to the close of this enlightening journey, we are eager to share some concluding wisdom with you that may serve as a guiding beacon on your continued course with your twin flame. The path you are on is not one of straightforward linearity. Rather, it is defined by a cyclical pattern where sequences of unity, separation, and returning union continuously intertwine. These stages are not arbitrary. They each serve a crucial role in facilitating your spiritual awakening and personal evolution into a better version of yourself. 
This journey is a dance of souls, a cosmic ballet which plays out to the melody of the universe. Every step you take, every twirl you make, every leap of faith and every fall you encounter, each is a unique chapter in your divine journey. The relationship with your twin flame is not just reflective of your own soul, but it is a guiding force, a beacon of light that directs you towards your higher self. Listen to their call, not just with empathy, but with open-hearted love, understanding, and a readiness to grow and evolve in unison. The challenges that come your way are not to deter you, but they are designed to serve as opportunities for growth and self-realization. The joyous moments are the sweet rewards of your spiritual voyage. Embrace them fully, but above all, embrace yourself. You are the captain of this soulful journey. As you embark on this path, remember to not only cultivate the spiritual bond with your twin flame, but also strengthen your bond with your own self. Self-compassion and love form the bedrock of any spiritual expedition. Nurture this love, hold it dear, and let it guide you towards your path of spiritual growth and personal advancement. As we prepare to transition into our subsequent scene, we aim to summarize this enlightening journey with the intention to leave you with some final insights and ponderings. These will serve as valuable nuggets for you to carry along as you pursue your twin flame journey further. Please remember, however, this is not the end, it's not a conclusion. Instead, view it as a stepping stone a milestone on your path towards a deeper, more profound spiritual journey. So stay tuned, let the flame your spirit continue to burn with undying intensity, and most importantly, embrace yourself, for you are the one steering this journey. As you move forward, remember to not only nurture your spiritual bond with your twin flame, but also your bond with yourself. Self-love is the foundation of any spiritual journey. Nurture it, cherish it, and let it guide you towards the path of spiritual growth and personal development. Remember, this is not the end, but merely a stepping stone towards a deeper, more profound journey. So stay tuned and keep the flame of your spirit burning bright.